Hola mi gente. So I've been asked, why did I decide to do these videos on credit and credit cards? And I've been told that basically I'm just forcing people to go into debt or, uh, you know, to show young people that you can do these things and then they're going to go into debt because they don't know how to handle it. And yet, actually, the reason why I decided to do all of this is quite the opposite. I want to help people the way that I wish somebody would have helped me 30 years ago or more when I was walking on the campus of St. John's and there was a guy in a suit with a piece of paper, a mug and some pens and said, hey, sign up for this Discover card and you'll get a couple of pens and a mug or a razor. And I did it. And what did that get me? $4,000 in debt like that. I was also pulling out cash out of the ATM at an outrageous 25% rate. So the 25 bucks that I thought I was a baller taking out was going to end up costing me like $35 if I didn't pay it in full by the end of the month, not including the fees they threw on it. So I wish I had somebody that would have explained these things to me. Latinos growing up, we were told credit was bad. We were told cash is king, which I understand. But what we were never taught was that credit, if used properly, is a tool. It's a tool that the wealthy people use all the time. And the better your credit score is, the better your um, utilization rate is, that means you're going to get better rates on car insurance, home insurance, credit card offers, loan applications, you name it. This is all a part of that. That's why I call my channel the Credit Card Connection because everything connects to credit especially as you get older. So my goal isn't to put people into debt. My goal isn't to force people to do things they shouldn't do. My goal isn't to have people live beyond their means. My goal is, a quite, is quite the opposite. It's to make sure people are knowledgeable about what's out there, especially people like me and my family and my friends that we were taught something totally, totally different. It wasn't until my father was into his middle 70s that he understood just how important the numbers were. He never cared about FICO scores. He was always great with stuff. But literally in his 70s, he was like, Papi, why can't I get my credit score past 780? And I didn't know. It wasn't up until the last year and a half or so that I was like, damn, now I know why. He only had two credit cards, two, a Home Depot and a JetBlue card. And he had a credit limit of 2500 on the Home Depot card. Yeah, bought a refrigerator. That kept the utilization high. We never thought of that. He was on some sort of free interest payment plan. But had he known, I would have just said, pop, bring that down and you'll see your score go up. But I didn't even know to tell him that. So I'm just doing all of this to try to help the people that don't know. Because I'm also learning. If I don't know something, I'm going to ask. I'm going to find out. You know, I mean, I'm so pissed off at the comments that I got from some people thinking that I'm just forcing things down their throat. But I actually took notes, you know, they didn't realize that, like me, I was using my debit card, let's say, and just having companies take money out of my account, paying bills out of my account. What did I get for it? Nothing, nothing. Not only that, but it's not as secure. The debit cards are nowhere as secure as the regular credit cards. I didn't know that until my son two years ago got his credit card number lifted, his debit card rather. And he was in Pittsburgh and they took his money in, out of Long Island at some TD bank. So I'm doing this not to get people into debt, not to piss people off. I'm doing this because I wish I would have had somebody back in the day that would have said, hey, Joe, you know what? Use your credit this way. Get your credit score up to this. Make sure you pay off your bills before the closing date, not the statement date, so that you don't pay interest on what you bought. Things that I take for granted now because I know it, but that's the reason why I did this. And I just hope you understand. Thanks for listening.